deflect, blame, instead of just answering straight what he was doing, uh, how he is upholding the rule of law versus how he is just upholding a presidential political ambition. None of that is a surprise. I know your questions focused on the clearing of protesters in Lafayette Park. And in a separate hearing yesterday, basically at the very same time, we saw a member of the National Guard testify that chemicals were used. You told my colleague Joy Reid that Bill Barr lied to you under oath about his role in that event. Given all that, what are you going to do about that? Well, we walked him, I walked him through the timeline of exactly what happened and asked him, was it coincidence? And then on Face the Nation, when he said chemicals were not used against protesters, he said it was not chemical, I showed him exactly what was used. Pepper balls, which his own department said is an effective blunt force trauma instrument that dispenses chemical irritants. That's a set of lies. What are we going to do? We're going to comb through his entire statement find the mistruths and the falsehoods and hold him accountable. What does holding him accountable look like though? Are there any actual consequences? Uh, there, we have many options for consequences. What I what want people to know is we actually have to hold him accountable to the American people. You saw his affect yesterday. He was disrespectful, spoke over top of every one of us. In particular, he spoke over women. Uh, he was flanked by at least 10 staffers, not a person of color among them. And he couldn't identify that we have systemic racism in this country. Maybe that's because he's living in a bubble. I, I just have to tell you, it was so disrespectful. Uh, the way he approached Congress, the way he approached our committee, his willingness to say one thing and in a single statement flip his own answer. He did that with me. When I said, uh, do you believe it's ever appropriate to use pepper balls against protesters, he said, no. And then he wanted to flip back and he said, well, wait a second. Well, rioters, yes. He could not keep a straight answer. But what's at stake for the American people is the rule of law. This is the top law enforcement officer. As I said, what he did at Lafayette Square was act as the top advance man for a campaign. He cleared the square for the president to go over with a borrowed Bible and have a photo op that they will use in campaign materials. Could you imagine if I tried to use the resources of this capital to do such a thing? I think you'd, t you'd haul me right out of here. This is an attorney general who has sworn an oath of office. He swore the truth to us. Uh, and uh, I, I believe he should resign. I have called for that a long time ago. Uh, he's terrible for the morale okay, of the office. Go ahead. 